hey guys and welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'm going to be going over my hotel site visit at hotel eshkaret mexico that my husband and i went to back in october of 2022 and we decided to do a site visit because we are having our wedding in june of 2023 so this is where we did our site tasting and everything like that so here in this part of the video we arrived in mexico and we found the hotel eshkaret workers to go ahead ahead and walk us to the shuttle to take us from the terminal the airport all the way to the hotel so when you go out you will see the workers who are wearing the bright pink shirts and then you'll give them your reservation information just to confirm that you do have a reservation with them and they'll go ahead and walk you down to the shuttle while you wait for the next one to come during the bus ride there, they basically check you in, give you your bracelets if they do have it. But if you are having a wedding, you actually don't get your white bracelet until you get at, at the resort. When you go in, this is the lobby right here. They give you these wet um, and fresh towels to wipe your face with because the weather, it is humid. And we also get these little ice creams. Once you check in, you might have a little bit of a wait depending on whether or not your room is ready, but they do give you a little booklet that gives you information of the resort and the times of the restaurants, which places require reservations. Um, and then they also give you a little bit of treats. And this is the white bracelet that all the wedding guests will get. So we got there a little earlier and our room wasn't gonna be ready for another hour or two, but once we were checked in and got our bracelet we headed out to the buffet to eat and check out the food that they had during lunchtime they have an amazing taco cart which was so good um, and there was so many choices at the buffet and then we found a little area to chill at by the beach and waited for like 30 minutes or so we're here at hotel eshkara doing our site visit our menu tasting and i'm doing my um, makeup trial so if you guys haven't watched my previous video on um, my hotel correct destination wedding planning video we're having our wedding next year in June of 2023 at Hotel correct Mexico and we were able to secure a booking um, a couple months before the wedding to do all of this stuff so if you guys are interested, I'm giving a pretty detailed review on the whole day. So we're going to be doing our my makeup with styling trio, my trial, the food tasting, and then also visiting the sites to see where our wedding is going to take place and then what happens. So if you guys are interested, keep watching. So this is the morning of Friday, and the room that we ended up booking is the Ocean so we View Suite. On Thursday, yesterday. And today we decided to do um, room service. So I got a omelet. Oh, I got an omelet. We got pancakes, Belgian waffle, and my husband got something called moletes. They also gave some bread. Um, I'm not sure what that is, but we're doing room room service this morning because today's a busy day. So I just had my hair and makeup done by styling trio i had lisa and karen uh, lisa did my makeup and karen did my hair so i went with a low updo and i wanted it like a messy look with framing on my face so these are a couple of pictures of the inspo that i sent to styling trio i wanted a low big bun that was a little bit messy and then the look that I was going for was kind of like natural glam and I went more with a neutral pink color for my makeup. So I'm going to test out how the makeup holds while I'm out and doing the site visit, doing the menu tasting and all, and all of that. So I went with one of their bridal camera ready packages and it comes up with a free trial, well not a free, it includes a trial, it includes makeup and hair for the rehearsal dinner. It includes bridal hair day and makeup and also a touch-up and a makeup touch-up post the um, ceremony. So that's all included in the pricing. Um, you, the Lisa and Karen are going to stick with me now through the rest of my entire like wedding process. So they're going to be there for the rehearsal, 
dinner uh, to do my hair and makeup and then they're gonna be there for the day of the wedding and then they're also gonna do my guests makeup and hair as well um, so I started at 9 o'clock it took them about an hour 30 an hour 40 minutes to do just me and then at 12 o'clock we're gonna go to do the um, the 12 o'clock we're gonna do the site and menu tasting so I already got my wedding coordinator signed and um, his name's Felix so I'm super super excited I saw reviews of him and they all say that he's amazing and great so we're doing that at 12 um, to see our venues and then after that we're gonna do our menu tasting I think around from 1 to 3 then after that we're done with all the wedding stuff probably get some food and then we're gonna head over to explore Fuego tonight and before all of this, I also have a wedding planner that I hired. I hired Maggie from SOS Weddings. And so Maggie has been amazing. She's been great. She's like planned, she like got everything all situated. She made sure that um, Styling Trio knew when to come. I already have my floral and decor and my DJ and events all set up prior to my wedding and my wedding still in June so I'm already like ahead of everything and so everything right now is basically just finalizing it when I walk around with Felix um, and seeing like exactly which venue we want to go with and finalizing the menu and then just looking at the site to see like if there's anything else that I'm gonna want to add for the wedding so I'm super excited I'm gonna take you guys along with me the entire day today so stay tuned first site visit that we're doing is the chapel of todos los angeles and this is the view of the chapel when you get up out of the elevator so we are doing a catholic ceremony and the views up here are so amazing and the time for our ceremony i believe is at five o'clock that is what is planned On the wedding day, obviously, you're playing practice. Uh-huh. Is there AC here? Uh, sorry? Is there air, air, air conditioning? Yeah. There is? Yeah. Oh, okay. We turn on maybe three hours before the ceremony. Oh, okay. Ah. Oh. Well, we're not going to get anything here. I think we added. This one. Oh. oh okay. okay so it's it's an advantage if you have the reception at, and the, at yeah. the same area because you don't have to pay extra for the sound DJ. system yeah. or music okay, okay. etc because you have included in your packets and the musician uh -huh. it can be a saxophony guitarist or mm -hmm. violinist okay uh, in case that you are going to use it for the ceremony, it's okay. If not, you can use it uh, at the cocktail hour. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So after we have our wedding at the chapel, our guests actually have to walk down the stairs or they can take the elevator, but it will take longer for the elevator since there is only one elevator. And what Felix was telling me during this time was that he says that it's better to have your cocktail and your reception at the same area because then you don't have to move your audio or your dj or anything like that from one area to the next and so it's good to have your reception and your cocktail in the same area so the next site that we're going to be visiting is going to be caleta fuego which is the reception area or it could be a ceremony area that's literally on the beach uh, and by the water the problem with this venue is that the maximum amount of guests you can have is 80 and maybe even up to 85 and so initially i thought that i was going to only have about 80 to 85 guests but it turned out that my guest is actually more than 100 and almost up to 130 guests so unfortunately we couldn't hold our reception on the sand here at um, Caleta Fuego because the site itself is too small for the amount of guests that I'm having and in pictures it does look a lot more bigger but when you're actually there and looking at the exact venue um, it's actually smaller than it is so during the visit that we had they were actually already setting up for a wedding for that night at that time 
so these are the tables to the cocktail tables and then the setup that you see right here is just going to be the basic tables and chairs that they have available for the wedding so as you can see they only can put up at like about eight tables and they still need space for the dance floor and the food and right in front of me is normally where the dance floor would go to they will be farther far, yes and we, if we have a, a dance, dance floor there. we can put in maybe two more uh-huh yeah. oh. okay but it's not for more than 80. yeah uh-huh this is one of my favorite but i know it's <laughs> yeah i well i initially thought 82 and then when i talked to maggie she said oh that might be too much so I said, okay, that's fine. Okay. And then I saw Playa Actually, Ambiente. Actually, I already booked the, all the areas that we have. For okay, my okay. Just in okay. Case. okay. <laughs> Felix is the best. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. A pleasure. Uh, when we have the um, the ceremony, the reception, sorry, uh -huh. the couple introduction is through the cave. Okay. It's okay. a really nice place. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Oh. And then what do you, is that where the DJ would go? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, I, will, I like to put in the DJ. Yeah, there, more space. Like, and it's up cetera, there. Dance floor tables the sweeper tables and all the rest of the table around the dance floor. Mm, okay oh and they have a book that's a buffet right yeah. that's how the buffet so looks the buffet. set up yeah. is that all included with the buffet yes yeah. for more than 50 you can choose if you uh, if you uh, if you want the dinner plate or uh -huh. okay 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 oh so in just a little bit um you're gonna see us walking by the setup to the right and that's actually how the setup is gonna be if you decide to do a buffet setup instead of a plated setup this is the buffet and then they put in extra decor uh -huh. and fruits uh, some fruits and... it looks bigger in the pictures yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. like yeah so this next area right here is called Playon Esperal and it is a smaller um, venue compared to Playon Viento but they are very similar. So this area has a pool, a private bar as well as access to the Caletas which is the river and we found that this area would be perfect for our welcome party because it has a good mix of activities for our guests to do and a private um, bar that our guests can have while we oh, have Oh, so this is the, bar the, the bar. Okay, so we put in high and low cocktail tables uh -huh. here in the pantry area. This is for the cocktail for the part? Cocktail, yes, for the welcome cocktail. Oh, okay. welcome cocktail, okay. Welcome cocktail, the day before oh, the wedding. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, we put in the high and low cocktail tables and you have the bar that is private. Okay. Yes, private okay. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, it's like you, you can see the, the chapel. chapel. Oh, and then they could do stuff. Is there things that they can do here? Yes, oh. actually, um, the What time, time does that, yeah. This is Playon Espiral. Uh-huh. You have the access to the caletas. Uh-huh. But after 6 p.m. Uh -huh. it's not possible because we don't have the life workers. Life service. workers. Okay. Oh, okay. But this area is a private event. Okay. And are you going to have chairs too? Like the yes. table? Uh, the Usually chairs? we okay. put in on the low cocktail tables. Uh -huh. We put in four chairs. Four but chairs. Up okay. to you in case that you want more low cocktail uh -huh. tables. So if you want to add more chairs, uh -huh. it's okay. The hotel provides. Okay. 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 Uh, the chairs the chair story that the hotel provides is white Tiffany uh -huh. and crossback chairs. Okay. The brown ones. Oh, okay, okay. That's fine. And this area, and you have, here you have the bar. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> and it's very private. And this is a pool too? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. In uh, the hotel, that, the hotel, sorry, the cocktail that you have included. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, saw, I saw pictures of this one, and then like Also, have this is the only um, option that we can have in case that you want to have the so i accidentally cut off the wedding coordinator there but he did mention that if you wanted to do a first look that area would be the spot where they usually do the first look and there's like these uh, small little pools and it just it's such a cute little area and so right now we're going to play on viento which is going to be actually the reception area for our wedding that we decided to go with
So while our visit, there was actually a big event that was happening. So as you guys see the area, they're setting up for a private event that night. And they have like this big DJ set up and they have a lot of tables there. So um, it was pretty, I had a lot of stuff over there. So we couldn't really visualize the area. So we actually ended up coming back the next day while it was empty to see how the area looked like. Oh, okay, that's good. When we have cocktail and reception here, we uh -huh. put the cocktail area here, in the okay, pantry area, uh -huh. and then we have all this space. Today we can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of stuff. Oh wow. Actually, we put in the sweetheart table right there. Uh huh. The in the middle. In the, uh -huh. in the middle. We can put in the dance floor in the middle uh -huh. you know, uh, space and around the dance floor all the table. Okay. It's so bigger the, than... The, yeah, the other one, but very uh -huh. similar. And also you can add it a string light yes. or the lighting. Uh -huh. I, yeah, I like this Sorry to for the setup, but oh, no, maybe it's you okay. can visit it and, and look, video. Yeah. And, and we could use this area too, right? Yeah. Like for like a All lounge setup can, yeah. and... It's so beautiful. Okay. The view is also beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's wow. It's not possible to jump in the water uh -huh. during the wedding and yeah. after the wedding, but you can use the sand area the in case that area. you want to have some lounge uh -huh. or something, you can use it. Okay. Mm, we put in the sweeper table right here uh -huh. in the middle. Then the dance floor and then the DJ close to the there. pool. Okay. And around the dance floor, we put in the round. Okay, because this is a spot that, yeah, you like this one better? Because we can't do Galeta um, Fuego because it's too small. But it works out because we could use you the sand. The yeah, the sand and then it's stone floor. The, yeah. yeah, okay. That's uh huh. Okay. Ah, you so now to my actual favorite part of the site visit is the menu tasting so you actually go into where the buffet la mercado is and there's a private room um, in the side that you can go to where the private chefs who will be making your plated dinners will like basically explain to you what you're eating what you're trying out so the very first thing we had was the pastries and so it's kind of like croissants and like different types of bread with cream cheese and they had like this chipotle butter and that was like the best part because like the bread is my favorite part oh this is really good so my camera ended up dying and I couldn't record everything during the food tasting. Um, but basically how they served us during the site a menu tasting is exactly how they're going to serve our guests. Um, and what they usually do is they send you a list of the menu and you pick a couple of stuff. And they only give you those things that you chose to try for your wedding. So we couldn't record everything from the menu tasting, um, but at the end of the night, we did end up eating at Las Cuevas, which is a Brazilian steakhouse, and the food was really good. And then we just explored the resort and walked around, and we actually ended up running into a wedding that you guys saw earlier that was set up at Caleta Fuego. And so you guys can see how the reception was with all the music and how loud it was. So thank you guys for watching i hope that you guys found this video helpful and if you plan to do a menu and site visit before your wedding at hotel ashkaret thank you